an aircraft is traveling at 70 at 70 kilometers or 70 meters per second when it lands so now when you have questions like this you need to write uh, you need to understand what information is given here so when it lands when it lands means when time started that's where you start observing the plane the aircraft so what they're telling you is when time is zero the speed here we're going to write not speed but velocity is 70 meters per second okay that's one information and at the same time when it's landed the that's where you started observing the displacement that it did is zero that's where you started observing so this first information or first line tells you two coordinates okay so if you draw the graph of t versus or v versus t when time is zero when time started the plane had the velocity of 70 meters per second and it had not moved any distance okay now the next sentence is its speed changes at a constant rate of minus 3 meters per second squared so this is basically acceleration so acceleration is minus 3.3 3 meters per second squared so basically this means every second the velocity is decreasing by 3 meters per second that's what acceleration is use calculus use calculus to find how far that means you have to find s how far means you have to find s uh, when uh, how far the aircraft will travel from where it lands so where it lands is where s is equal to zero to where it has speed of four meters per second so you want to find when the aircraft uh, reached a speed of four meters per second from 70 meters per second what's the distance that it tra it has traveled okay so let's start so the first thing that we have is velocity is 70 uh, velocity is 70 no sorry let's start with acceleration so we have got acceleration is minus 3.3 meters per second I'm not writing the unit now if you have acceleration you can find velocity by integrating acceleration so well this implies velocity is integration of a dt which is equal to integration of minus 3.3 t to the power 0 dt so this implies we can say velocity as a function of t is minus 3.3 t plus c where c is the constant of acceleration sorry constant of integration not acceleration so now we need to figure out c so well when t is 0 your velocity is 70 so well so we know when t is 0 velocity is 70 so we can put this information in this equation so this implies I can say 70 is equal to minus 3.3 .3 times 0 is going to be 0 is equal to C so C is 70 and it does make sense so let's write the equation so velocity is minus 3.3 t plus 70 so what's the meaning of this equation uh, this equation tells when t is 0 it started with a velocity of 70 meters per second and every second uh, the velocity is decreasing by 3.3 meters and that's what the acceleration is now the question is you want to find s now if you have got v I hope you know v is ds by dt v is ds by dt where s is displacement this implies s is integration of v dt so if you integrate velocity you get displacement 
So I can say this is equal to integration of minus 3.3 t to the power of 1 plus 70 t dt. Okay, so we can say, well, velocity as a function of t is minus 3.3 t squared divided by 2 plus 70 t. This is 70 t to the power 0. Okay, instead of writing 70, I'm writing 70 t to the power 0. So that will integrate to 70 t plus again c, the constant of integration. So this implies velocity as a function of t. 3.3 divided by 2 is minus 1.65 t squared. t squared uh, minus 6. Point. Am I doing something wrong? No. t integrates to t squared. Yeah. Minus plus 70 t. Uh, so this is this is velocity. No, this is not velocity. This is displacement. I was wondering where did it get the velocity. So not s v. This is s. So plus 70 t plus zero. So s or displacement. So let me rewrite this again. So s, which is displacement, is 1.65 t squared minus 1.65 t squared plus 70 t plus 0 uh, plus c. So this is c plus c. Okay, so what do we know? How can we figure out c? Do we have any, any information of s and t? Well, we do know when s is t, when t is 0, s is 0. So if you put t as 0 and s as 0, I hope you can understand c is going to be 0. So when t is 0, s is 0. This implies c is going to be 0. So s as a function of t is minus 1.65 t squared plus 70 t. Okay, so now the question is, what is the displacement when the aircraft has a velocity of 7 meters per, sorry, 4 meters per second? So, basically, if you know the time when the aircraft had a velocity of 4 meters per second, once you find that time, you can put that time into this equation and you can find the answer. So, we have got the equation of V versus T. So, let me scroll up. So we can say v is minus 3.3t plus 70. So the question is, what is t when velocity is 4 meters per second, or 4? So I'm going to put this into this equation. So 4 is equal to minus 3.3t plus 70. And taking away 70 from both sides, I hope you understand 3.3t is going to be minus 66. So this implies t is minus 66 over 3 point, divided by minus 3.3, which is 660, both are negatives, 660 over 33. That is, after 20 seconds, when t is 20, or 20 seconds, the aircraft has a velo had a velocity of 4 meters per second. So I can put this into this equation and find out s. So well, so s would be minus 1.65 times 20 squared plus 70 times 20. So let me get my calculator out. So this would be uh, minus 1.65 times 20 squared plus 70 times 20 is 740 meters. So it had covered 740 meters after 20 seconds.
when the velocity was 4 meters per second. So basically this information from this information this line gives you two information when t is 0 velocity is 70 meters per second and the displacement is 0. This line tells you the acceleration is minus 3.3 that means the velocity is decreasing every second by 3.3 meters. And the question was how far has the aircraft traveled from where it stopped or where it landed and when it had a speed of 4 meters per second. So, so let me uh, revise or let me go over the whole thing. So from acceleration basically we found velocity by integrating acceleration. So once we got velocity, you can find displacement which is s by integrating velocity. That's what we did here. So when you integrate velocity, you get displacement. And once you get displacement, in terms of t, you, we found after how many seconds it acquired or had the speed of 4 meters per second. And that was 20 seconds. And you put 20 into this equation will give you the answer which is 740 meters per second. Now this was again a question which was asked in 2014 NC exam at level 2.